Welcome back, Chief Fish Productions here. Got something a bit different for you today. Um, we were going to do an update on SMK, but we had a bit of a disaster. Uh, we'll make another video and sort of let you know all about that. But the SMK is out of the picture for a little while, so what I'm going to do is go back on something, um, a rifle we have shown before on this channel, but I uh, really, didn't really go into too much detail on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to just give it a once over, show you what it is. It's a bit of an oldie. And you can tell that's a way of time, uh, biggest downfall, that, that weighs a lot. Anyway, uh, so we're going to go over the rifle, and then what, what I've done, I've dug out all my different pallets I've got. This is a 2-2, uh, I've got quite a nice selection of pallets, and what we're going to do, we're going to put it through the Kurumi. Uh, different types of pallets, different weights, and just to get an idea of um, how the different pallets perform, and you can see this gun in action. And this, at, I bought this at auction, it was a bit of a mess, and um, cosmetically, but fortunately, mechanically wise, everything was beautiful. Put a new cheap scope on it, and uh, so I've redone the woodwork. Um, it's not perfect, but sort of ten times better than what it was. So what I love about this is this bolt action. Um, it's a single shot, it's called a Webley Raider, um, original, made in England. Um, they do do a modern Webley Raider, I think that's a Raider 10 or 12, because it's got a magazine like 10 or 12 shot. Uh, this is a single shot, and back in the day they did do a little cartridge thing, like an accessory, where that would take a massive two shots. So um, I've just got the single shot, uh, I like it, like I say, I like the bolt action. Um, I'm not sure if the new ones quality wise are up to the standards what this would be, but then again I don't think any modern guns would be, because as I say, this you won't be carrying this hunting for too long, um, so it's all, it's all pretty good, good work in order, uh, beautiful trigger action. So. Um, if you, I don't know if you want to zoom in, there's nothing really too much to say. It's got this funny silencer on the end. And there's something strange about this gun. Um, sort of made a bit of a farting noise when it fire. And um, I quite like it, it's quite quiet. I like that strange noise because no one would sort of immediately suspect uh, they're hearing a gunshot. The fill probe is on the bottom there. This plastic sleeve I think was just sort of made up by the last guy, but it does the job, keeps the muck out. And uh, that's about it. So um, we'll just have a look what pallets we got. We'll weigh, uh, weigh them up. Uh, check the weights, put them in the crony before we start, and uh, look at a few shots. Alright guys, what we'll do, I'll just grab a tin at random, and uh, these are RWS Super Dome, 14.5 grain. So uh, we'll pop one of them out, and first of all we'll put the weight in the crony, because each uh, pellet weight obviously makes a difference on the foot poundage and everything. So um, there's actually already on 14.5 grain, so uh, we'll stick that there. <laughs> Uh, shot coming up. So uh, here's a little bolt action, nice click. It's a bit fiddly getting your pellet in the side there. But, um, nine shot is for a while. Uh, slide in, uh, and done. There's no safety as such, but to make it safe, you can leave the bolt back there, or if you hold that and pull the trigger and let it out slowly, you can decock it. So first shot, 14.5 gram RWSs. And that was 11.91 foot pound, 608 feet per second. So that is on the borderline of being illegal. Um, but it's not, that's well within the limits, just about. So that was the RWS, 14.5 gram. That's a nice uh, 11.91 foot pound. Right, RWS Superfield, 15.9 gram. And I did actually do that a second ago without adjusting the weight. So these have gone up in weight a bit. I'll be interested to see what effect that has on the foot poundage. If I press the button the right way. Okay. Here we go. RWS Superfield. Building to pellets. Really nice quality. I think RWS is my favourite pellets at the minute. So there we go. Right. 12.04 foot pound, 584 feet per second. So it's actually gone slower, but because that was a heavier pallet, it did actually technically take me over the legal limit. So that's good because now I know I can't use them pallets. And this gun is pretty much fully charged, so after few shots, uh, I'll be safe. Right, next up, RWS again, Super H point, 14.2 uh, gram. Okay, 14.2. Super H point. Let's see what happened with these. Uh, 
Okay. 11.98 foot pound, 616 feet per second. Alright, next up. Now, I don't know if I've even ever used these. These are BSA interceptors. 15.43 grain. Heavy babies. Got a little sort of a bit like a dum dum bullet hollow out end. Let's get it in and uh, change the weight. Fifteen point four three. Okay, here we go. BSA interceptors. Eleven point seven three foot pound, five hundred and eighty four feet per second. Now I think I might at the end put a little chart on the video just to so we can compare them a bit easier. Right, next up, air arms, Diablo Field Heavy. 18 grains, right, these are probably a bit heavy for this sort of gun, but hey. Oh. Right. These might be handy for an FAC firearm, but I don't know if that's what do you think it does? Is that a heavy pellet or too heavy, do you reckon? No, I think you're getting on the limit, but I think that'll shoot up fine. 18 grain. It might run at about 500, 550. Feet per second. This will be interesting because uh, we'll see if that will push it over the legal limit and if you can use them with that gun anymore. <laughs> I think the number of shots I've added hopefully took me back in the big alley. Okay, 18 grain. Again, I don't know if I've ever shot one of these before, but. Whoa! 12.25 foot pounds. 553.8 feet per second. Yeah. So I can't use them. No, you have to save them for a different rifle. Or when the pressure dropped to half, I could maybe use them. Okay, guys, next up pointed Spitfires. Uh, I was thinking to say these are really cheap pallets, horrible, and they ain't even got weight on the tin, so I'm going to have to just. Get my buddy over there, just weigh him right quick on top. Spitfires, if you're on a budget, they're fine, but don't expect great accuracy and expect to have to clean your gun out afterwards. They are 11.4 grain. 11.4 grain on the Spitfires. Okay. Spitfires, horrible pellets. They even feel horrible. Okay. Let's see what the Spitfire has pulled out of the bag. Not bad, 11.83 foot pound, 683 feet per second. Okay, this is the last tin. These are Humorex mosquitoes. Made in Germany, 12.8 grain. Sort of flat headed pellet. Pretty good target. Um, well, put a nice hole in the target with a flathead. I'll stop them ricocheting if you're shooting in your garden. And 12.8 grain. Okay. Umerex mosquitoes, flatheads coming up. 11.8 foot pound, 644 feet per second. So, just to round up the pellets guys, um, that's just a little thing we thought we'd do to keep, keep things going and uh, pellets do make a difference on your accuracy probably more than power and stuff but as you can see from that the weight uh, um, the weight makes a difference on the velocity and the foot poundage and I don't know if you noticed on them figures that seems to slow the speed the more the foot poundage so um, I say that both values are interrelated and um, hope you found that interesting. Um, the Webley Raider, my favourite rifle, and um, don't shoot it as often as I should, which is why I probably made this video. 
and uh, we could do a shot count and show you filling up. What do you think, Dan? Yeah. Maybe even no. just. I don't think I need to fill them up, to be honest, them sort of band. No, no, no. Uh, that's probably got to take all out now, actually, yeah. to, to run it down. So maybe when the gun, when I used it a bit more and that's getting a bit lower, perhaps we'll do a video on topping it up and showing you what sort of foot pound it is when that's sort of getting low on, on pressure. So that was that, and um, thanks for watching.